The UN's mission is to bring peace and stability to some of the most challenging places around the world. When the UN comes in, it is the ray of hope. People trust the UN to help and protect them. The overwhelming majority who work and serve in the UN do so with honor, pride and integrity. Sadly, at times, UN personnel have violated the trust placed in them by the most vulnerable in society. Both civilian and uniformed personnel have engaged in sexual exploitation and abuse of the local population in UN field missions in the Balkans, Asia, Africa and the Caribbean. The UN has a zero-tolerance policy for such behavior. There is no impunity for UN personnel who commit such abuses. Over the past years, the UN has put in place a wide range of measures to combat sexual exploitation and abuse. These measures are having an impact. UN personnel are now more aware of the standards of conduct expected of them. Managers and commanders are held to account. And the local population are encouraged to report abuses to the UN. But worryingly, acts of sexual exploitation and abuse by UN personnel continue to happen. And a significant proportion of allegations involve the worst form of abuse, the rape of children. For the UN, one incident of sexual exploitation and abuse is one too many. In this course, you will learn what you can do to prevent sexual exploitation and abuse of the local population and how to report such abuses. If you are a manager and commander, you will also learn about your additional responsibilities to enforce you and standards of conduct.